Hey, Shalom. First of all, I give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakhon Kadash, Yahweh, who the world innerly calls God, Yahweh Shah, who the world innerly calls Jesus. Only give a double honor to the apostles of great mills, someone who's telling me the truth. Only give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four quarters of the earth for teaching the truth from which the life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Loading the videos, edifying, lonely. I can get something from this video. It's a quick video, man. Uh, a couple things I was uh, looking at earlier. Uh, one thing in particular is uh, those who received the the um the jab man um scriptures tell you uh never trust that enemy for his iron rust his soul is his wickedness man okay and now i'm hearing right you got them coming out saying that oh let's see what on man oh they're apologizing for giving people the max all right but what the fuck does an apology do to people who already got the shit in their body See, this is their this is this is their game. This is how they get down. This is the devil. This is the uh, deceiver, right? And he hold himself not fucking guilty, because he could blame it on oh well. He could blame it on uh well uh we it was urgent. He could blame it on urgency and hold himself not guilty, right? But obviously it was a bigger agenda to it. But this this is why scripture said what they say: never trust an enemy for his iron rust so his wickedness. Okay, here it is. You putting people job on the line he was putting people uh income on the line people you know family and what that lead to what bills taking care of your family right so obviously right people are running to go get it okay because he know what to say to get the minds of the fucking people because the people look at him and listen to him as if he's god this nigga is nothing this devil the so-called white man is edomite right is the devil he's a deceiver okay he's wicked man and you'll be a fool to listen to his wicked ass, man. So as this motherfucker lied to you about the uh, the max, you got to think. What come in the question? What else did he lie to you about? Right? What else did he lie to you? You got to you people got to start thinking like having them asking them questions. Man, what then? What else he lied about? Well, shit, damn. He 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 put everybody life at, at on the line. Right now, motherfuckers got issues. Right, everybody like he put everybody life on the line and threatened motherfuckers, and then oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We did some uh, research, and uh, the ones who who didn't took it were actually right. Right, but this is this is why we say what the fuck we. This is a small example of why we say what we say for these people, man, and for those who trust in, the, in these people. Yeah, like it's shame on you, man. But you can't tell these niggas nothing when they come to they come to the come to they so-called white men, man. Especially these older niggas. Can't tell them shit. Right? But you're gonna fall right into his fucking trap. You're gonna fall right into his little snares. Right? Oh, what you gonna do? Oh, what you people gonna do, man? Right? Because what? You don't look towards the Lord. You Israelites I'm talking to. You don't look towards the law. You so-called black men and women. You so-called Native American men and women. You so-called Latino men and women. Right? The majority of you. You don't look to the Lord. And you were the main target. For this max. You were the main target. Didn't Biden say the blacks, Native Americans, and the Mexicans were aiming towards those people to get maxed? Right? And what you niggas do? Line up and take it. That's why, like, the question, oh, why, why can't all we, we all come together? Because shit like that. Why would you want to come together who, with a nigga who, who, uh, <laughs> who look at, who upholds the enemy and looks at the enemy as if he's something and that he's not the enemy? This motherfucker's the enemy. And the enemy is not for your turn. And our people have a hard time comprehending and, comprehending and understanding that. Enemy ain't for your turn, man. If you're not benefiting, benefiting him, he gonna look to wipe you out. That's what he do. They've been like this, man. They've always been like this. That's why I say, you know, you gotta know who you are to know who your enemy is, man. And one thing they they took from our people, right? They had a hand in taking it, right? Was was hiding uh, who we are. Because if we know who we are as a people, then we can identify who our enemies are. And if we can identify who our enemies are, we can identify their plan and we don't fall into their, uh, their, their trickery. Right? And 
that Max was part of their trickery. You know what else is part of their trickery? trickery? Their, their Christianity. That's part of their trickery. See, the Bible, I said this today. People think the Bible is a religion. It's not a religious book, man. The Bible is a history book. It's a law written for a particular people, and it's a book of prophecy. Okay? It tells you what happened, what's going to happen, what's currently happening. Or I should say it tells you what happened, what's currently happening, and what's what's about to happen. Okay? It's a living book. And just because people you can't understand it, some of you niggas just can't, just because you can't understand it, that don't mean that it ain't real. <gasps> that don't mean it ain't real. Because scripture say what? Should your unbelief make the most out without effect? No. Whether you believe or not, the prophecies are going to come to pass regardless. And it ain't going to happen on your time. It's going to happen on the Lord's time. So what you got to understand, man, and realize. Right? But, see, right now, a side of the enemy, which is the heathen, another enemy is our people two-thirds of our people they're a huge enemy because it's like you got to break through them first before you can get to the real enemy you can't build with them you can't build with you can't put new wine in the old bottles man you can't build because everybody got their own fucking philosophy man but it's gonna come a time and it's gonna come a day where it's gonna be like fuck that either you getting down or you laying down and really ain't really your choice to get down the lord chooses <laughs> The Lord chooses, man. You know? But what I mean is, it's gonna be, it's gonna come a time where that line is gonna be drawn in the sand, man. And it's and it's kind of being it's kind of the time is kind of coming forward now, man. I should say. Because you got Israelites out there teaching and preaching his word in truth and sincerity, man. Right, trying to bid, trying our best to bid the elected to marriage. Lord willing, we be those men. And you got niggas who still want to bring any other beliefs and their idols, whether they're Muslims, whether they're Moors, whether they're American Christians, whether they're you know, if it ain't the truth, it's, it's a lie. Okay, period. If it ain't the truth, it's a lie, man. And you can't come in with any other doctrine. You can't come in with any other. Man, we say, listen, man, ain't no dreads. There ain't no dreads. Brothers, uh, scripture say ain't no lineups. Ain't no lineups. Scripture say ain't no adultery. Ain't no adultery. Scripture say ain't no tattoos. Ain't no tattoos. Period, man. Ain't no tit for tat when it comes to the. Ain't no. Oh, I will. Uh, that's what I wanted. Uh, I feel like I should. Yeah, I could do this. Ain't none of that, man. But you got a lot of our people that 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 have that mindset, you know. And you can't have that mindset, you know. We gotta try our best to to get right, man. You know, try our best to get right to the best of our abilities, man. While we're here in this in this fucked up ass. Society, where the women are a whores and men are moles. There's no leadership. There's no instruction. There's no nothing. Ain't no righteousness. The little bit of righteousness you're going to see is with brothers. You know? So, yeah, man, just quick video in transit. You know, Lowell was at a final. They give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, Rakakadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing. On to the next. Shalom. Oh, I, I do want to say this too before I close out the video. I had a a guy. Have you just so happened to see this video? Comment, you know, on on a short that I posted when I was on my way to California, and I saw a truck on a, a highway, um, 
and the GMC had the name of the Lord on the back of the windshield. And in the video, you can hear me saying, that's the name of the Lord, Yahweh, right? Um, and, you know, I put capitals on a video, right? Because as you know, right, when it's capitals, right, it's talking about the Lord. It's talking about the Most High, okay? Yahweh. And you have this guy say, that's not, that's, that's, uh, that's not his, his, um, uh, that's he said something. I forget what he said. He was basically saying that that I, uh, that's not the um, what he say, man. He said some shit. He said uh, that ain't the name of the Lord. That's 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 his father, or he said something, right? But anyways, and then he said, yeah, and his name is translated to Jehovah, right? And um, my man, you know, if you you hear the scripture, right? I mean, if you hear this video. Um, in, in the comments, I, uh, I commented it back to you and I sent you a breakdown, um, of the elders of Great Millstone doing a video, uh, breaking down the name. Um, the name is not Jehovah. The name is not Jesus. The father's name is Yahweh. Okay. Whether you like it or not, that's the father's name. And then I encourage you. Well, and I'm not, you know, you might be a man, a man of the Lord. I don't know. You got, you know. You know, and I don't know. Only time will tell. It might be part of the elect. I don't know. Only time will tell. But I will highly encourage you to, um, you know, to watch that video to get the right breakdown of the name. Okay. Both names, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shah. So with that, Lord, one of the videos edifying on to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, and Kakadash. I'm going to tell you, brothers, keep pushing. On to the next. Shalom.